Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD for Monday. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis and do check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other pairs like Euro USD, GBP, USD, USD JPY, GBP JPY and many more. So let's get started. So it is the photo chart of gold USD in front of us right now and as I mentioned yesterday that there will be some volatility and craziness on the market and yes we witness huge huge volatility in the market as per our expectation. First of all I would like to talk about the levels here you can see I have removed many lines here and the two important levels for the market right now are the support zone at 1790 to 1780 at the bottom and 1810 to 1815 at the top as the resistance you can see i have removed a line of 1805 uh, if you have watched my previous videos then you know it very well that i had a line at 1805 from the weekly chart but in the past week we have noticed that market was not respecting the line at all so therefore that line is not no longer required so the two important level, levels are 1805 sorry 1810 to 1815 at the top as the resistance and 1719 to 1780 as the support keep in mind next week we are having pmi and nfp report coming up and those are market driving factors and that could also lead to huge volatility in the market so be careful pmi is coming on 1st december and nfp is coming on 3rd december okay. and moreover again a new variant of covid 19 is coming up and that can also bring some volatility in the market generally it is believed that whenever this kind of a panic comes in the market then people get um, people try to stick to things like gold so there may be some bullishness in the market bullishness on gold if the new variant comes in and shows a uh, panic that's it okay and these are the market driving factors for gold right now okay now look let's uh, look at the chart of gold and let's discuss what are the best trading opportunities for us and before that i would like to apologize uh, for not <laughs> for not um, using any thumbnail here because i didn't get time to uh, prepare any thumbnail so i do not have any thumbnail so just a raw video and you know it very well that i never edit my videos i never get time okay so please do not mind so first of all as per our expectation market respected the level of 1790 to 1780 i clearly mentioned that in comparison to 1790 level 1780 was the much more reliable isn't it so yes it was a reliable level and it really did good but if you look at the present portion of this chart here or if you just focus on this portion of the chart here then you can clearly see that market is under heavy selling pressure just try to understand the market psychology forget about these levels here okay just forget about these levels and just focus on this particular portion of the chart don't you think that market is under heavy selling pressure yes buyers present in this level are trying to hold the market but how longer they will be able to hold i don't know i think so that if the same thing continues then by monday or tuesday obviously market will break the support and go down if this thing continues okay so things are not very well for the gold okay if you have a buy position on gold right now then um, you must be very careful and if you have a sell position maybe you are going to make some good money in the coming week <laughs> so 1780 is still the support level for the market but if market breaks the level of 1780 yes there is a good possibility of market breaking the level of 1780 if it breaks the level of 1780 you can take a sell position if the uh, breakout is good enough if you see that market is breaking the 1780 level with good amount of volume the size of the candle is convincing enough then obviously you can take a sell position below 1780 and your target will be 1760 yes this will be your target 1760 will be your next target but on the other hand if market starts going up from here if market starts going up from here then what you can do is that yes you can continue with your buy position if you have one okay or if you're looking for a fresh position in the market then also you can go for a buy but yes 
taking a buy position is kind of risky right now so what if you are planning to take a buy position or sell position whatever you want to do just consult the chart of dxy this is the chart of us dollar dxy and as we all know if dxy goes up we generally see gold going down in general okay <laughs> and if dxy goes down, we generally see gold going up so you can see at last we have seen some correction on the chart of us dollar and it has taken support at the 96 level remember i told you that if it fails to take support at the trend line here the next support will be 96 yes as per our calculation it took support at 96 level so on monday it will be very critical okay so whether dxy goes up or not if listen to me carefully okay if dxy bounces from here okay if dxy gives a good bounce from here then definitely there will be some selling on goal again but if dxy fails to hold this hold this level and starts going down there will be some chaos in the market and the next support for dxy will be 95.50 the last traded price of dxy is 96.07 if it starts falling then 95.50 will be the next support for the market and for gold the safe trading opportunity as i mentioned if it breaks the level of 1780 starts going down that's a good opportunity to sell and in case it goes up then another safe opportunity to take a sell position is at this level 1810 to 185 level okay if market goes up and reverses yes listen to me okay reversal is extremely important if market reverses from 18 0 18 15 to 1810 level then only take a sell position the reversal or the confirmation of price rejection is as extremely important okay if it reverses then only take a sell position at the resistance and if it breaks the level you can take a sell position again if it breaks the support of 1780 another selling opportunity for you is okay if you want to take a sell position below 1790 you can take a sell position but let me say this is a highly risky okay highly risky trade so beginners new traders please avoid trading like this do not no need to trade like this no need to scale there are multiple opportunities on the market why you will be risking your hard earned money okay so these two are the only trading opportunities safe opportunities okay shorting the market at 1810 to 1815 level shorting the market below 1780 level and if you have a buy position if you want to take a if you have a buy position continue with your trade okay, as long as market crosses this level or if you really want to take a buy position yes you can initiate a buy position at, at the present level also but just make sure that dxy is going down that will be an additional confirmation right now dxy is standing at a support so if dxy starts going up there will be some pressure on goal and it will be falling so be careful and my dear friends this is the pro trader program where i share the best trading opportunities in the market not only gold i share on all the major currency pairs our main motto is to earn money not to um, trade on gold and gold only okay if you are interested in knowing more about the pro trader program just go to my website you'll find all the information every saturday i also conduct a webinar where i uh, answer the questions and doubts of the members and plus i teach for 30 minutes today i'll be teaching about trading discipline <laughs> anyways if you're interested just go to the uh, website you'll find all the information bye bye take care and see ya on monday